The whole reason that we're interested in having trees in the city is to make cities livable. I mean, if you think about it, cities are sort of unnatural in the sense that they're very dense and can be very isolating. But when you plant trees in a, in a city, you make it more livable. You see, trees started almost 10 years ago, but our mission is to restore, enhance, and protect the tree canopy of Washington, D.C. We're in every ward, in every neighborhood of the city, and that's part of our mission. To finally get in our new space has been great. Our green roofs, we have three different ones. You've seen our rain gardens, we have two of those. Um, and they're all designed with this idea of being sustainable. So the rest of our building is covered by a cool roof, and a cool roof is also known as a white roof or a reflective roof, and it's just a covering that you put over the building, and that helps to reflect the sun and cool the roof, which is great. And when we found out that the gasoline station across the street was also available, what could be better than to take a gasoline station and turn it into a place to stage trees for tree planting? Green roofs, if you do it on a, a citywide um, level, it will cool the entire city. Cooling the city is paramount, especially when the earth is warming. Um, and then that will, of course, reduce energy bills because less people will need to cut on air conditioning and fans during, during the summer. It is amazing. Um, we, especially with the large shade canopy trees, we try to place those in the south, southwest corner of the houses strategically to shave hundreds of dollars off air conditioning bills and, and, and save uh, energy as well as lower pollution since our most of our electricity in the district comes from coal. Um, and, and then similarly, we try to plant large evergreen trees like Native American hollies on the north, northwest side of homes to protect from the cold winter winds. One of the great things about moving into a community is that a community is always going to have its own character. We wanted to build something that that was in line with the character of the community. Hi, I'm Sia Kia Kwanda Jordan, a member of the illustrious Kwanda family. Been here for 62 years in Brooklyn. So most of us that I've talked to in the neighborhood think it's a blessing to have something here of substance and sustenance. I think we started off on the right foot. I mean, our executive director, before we moved in, he went door to door. I, I was teasing him about going to kiss the babies, but he would go door to door and knock on everybody's door and introduce himself and Casey Trees. We create community in a lot of ways. I mean, by having our signature program be called our community tree planting program, it's where you and your neighbors are getting together saying, hey, we could use more trees in our neighborhood. It's all about community, and it's interesting. People banter about that word all the time, community this, community that, we're doing a community, whatever. But to me, this really defines community. This is a community-led effort all volunteer, and at the end of the day, we've done really good, and what's wonderful about it is this is good that's gonna do nothing but grow, pun intended, more valuable and better as the years go by.